Good morning class. Today we're going to be making our clay castles with some crenellations on the top and some little archer peak holes. You'll each get a slab of clay from me, remembering that a slab is a pancake flat piece of clay. You'll also get a stencil. If you find that your slab is slightly too small in some areas for your stencil, like over here, you can feel free to go grab a roller or and just roll out that little area. Or you can try to adjust it. Oh, so I noticed if I moved it up a little bit, then it fit. So try to make it fit, and if not, you can roll it out. If there needs to be a lot of rolling out, you can get back in line and I will roll it out. So once you find a place that gets all those corners, you're gonna take your needle tool and trace around it. So I'm just gonna kind of cut off a chunk at a time. Notice this is all on top of my paper towel. In order to get your clay, you have to bring me a paper towel to put your clay on top of. Cut out that little piece, done. Sometimes you might cut your paper towel and that's okay. I'm not letting my stencil wiggle. And the last piece. All right. So I'm basically done with my stencil now. Some other things you can do uh, before you wrap it around and make it into a castle is add some texture add some windows or add some stairs. So right now it's really flat over here. If you wanted to cut out some triangle-like shapes, you can make these into stair steps. Or you could leave it flat either way and make it look like a slide. All right, so I chose to make mine look like stair steps. Now I also want to add some windows. For windows, you just cut out a square. Don't make it too big. We want this to be little windows. Remember, this is a castle. They did not have big, giant windows. Windows are kind of harder to get out. You have to, like, stab your little piece of clay and kind of pull it out. And smooth those edges with your finger. All of your edges, kind of smooth them so there's none of those little crusties like that. Want to keep our edges nice and clean. Now I'm going to add maybe about three or four windows. Because so I think they add a lot of interest to my piece. Notice how they're all fairly small. All right, now is the point where I'm gonna be adding some texture to my piece. Um, there's a couple different textures you can do. You could leave it smooth, which is fine. It's not as interesting, but it's fine. You could do some kind of like rough texture, like it's made of rock, like that. Maybe I'll have the bottom of mine be rock. I'll make mine two different textures. You can mix your textures for sure. And yes, I am doing this with a shell, but it does give the same kind of rough texture to it. All right, when you got that done, you could also do another texture, which would be like brick texture. So I might do some straight lines all the way across. I think I'm gonna start from my stair step and go over. Going slowly, because it's really easily easy to get wiggly. And I am not 
pressing hard into my clay. Your clay is not super thick on this project, so if you're pressing hard, you might break it apart and have your piece castle cut in half, which is not very fun. And I'm going to do a brick texture, which means every other line I'm going to do lines. And then I'm going to do lines on the off lines in between. It looks like that. I might do one more set of lines maybe. There we go. Pretty sweet. I'm happy with that. All right, rough on the bottom. You could even incorporate maybe some of my bricks are rough, have rough texture to them. It's kind of your call. You make it your own, okay? After you are happy with all the texture on this, write your name before you curl it. It's so much easier if you write your name before you curl it. So I'm gonna do my initials. H R. All right, you do your initials. Initials your first letter of your first name, your la first letter of your last name. Now this is the part where you may want to have a friend help you. Um, you kind of stick your hand underneath the project because we don't want it to fall apart. And we're kind of getting it upright, peeling that paper off. Now if you used a roller at all. There might be some paper sticking to the back. Just peel that off. We don't want any of the paper on your piece. And you will be rolling your piece around like this. Trying to make sure it's able to stand on its own. Perfect. So you're going to kind of see where, how big you want it to be. I want it so that my top step starts around my first crenellation right there. So it's going to be touching so I don't have a gap there. And if it covers up one of your windows, that's okay. No big deal. All right. So I've got that like that. And I am going to just peel it back a little bit now. I know exactly where it's at and do some scratching and attaching. So I am just scratching, not hard, this area, this whole big area. Because I'm going to be adding slip here. Scratching over here. But don't scratch higher than your wall, your steps are, or diagonal edging. I'm going to go run and get my water. Once it's a good rough texture, you just stick some water on there. Not a ton. And you stick it together. I would lift up my piece and kind of just gently press it together like that. I kind of like how my window's peeking out like that. Kind of fun. All right, and there is your castle. If you want to add any other details, now is the day to do it. This is our only day we're going to be touching our castles. Your turn.